Good YouTube, it's your boy Trey. We back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be reacting to reacting to the world most dangerous uh, attractions. And um, yeah, so you know, gonna get back, get all into this. I don't know what it's like, what it is, but from the um, from the thumbnail, it looked pretty scary. And nah, some things I wouldn't want to do, and some things I will want to do. But <laughs> we're gonna get straight into this video, so. Let's go. These are the scariest tourist attractions in the world. Visit if you dare. Ever wanted to lean off the edge of New York's tallest skyscrapers? At 1,100 feet above the ground, thrill seekers can strap in and lean over the sheer drop to the busy streets below. Or maybe you still want to see the New York cityscape, but need a little something extra between you and the ground. If you're not afraid of heights and trust the strength of perspex, this could be the attraction for you. This 72-foot cliff swing in China is a lot of fun. Until you look down, that is. You get to experience near weightlessness as you swing out over snow-capped mountains with a sheer drop below. No wonder you have to be strapped in. Southwest China's Sky Park features a walkway that has a few too many gaps for comfort. Luckily, there's a harness and safety rope attached, or one wrong step could mean the end. They say once you learn how to ride a bike, you'll never forget. I wonder if it's the same for sky bikes. A toe-curling adventure in Mexico that lets riders cycle along a zip line while enjoying the magnificent views below. The Crocosaurus Cove in Northern Australia gives visitors a unique way to get up close and personal with a massive crocodile. Luckily, Perspex isn't in their diet. Busted. This street market in Thailand is built over train tracks, so whenever the train like, through, everyone has just seconds like, to get out of That don't even make sense. Why the, Why is the train even so close to where people come and shop and stuff? Like, people can easily get hit by a train if they're not paying attention. Like, like look how close this is. Like, that is so close to these people. Literally. Tracks, so whenever the train close to these people. Everyone has just seconds to get out of the way. Seconds Russia's to get out the way. Sushi Sky Park is a bungee jumper's paradise. <laughs> Jump, flip, fall, or be tossed off this 680 foot platform. Just make sure the bungee's secured first. There's a reason they call this swimming spot the Devil's Pool. Locating just feet from the edge of Zambia's Victoria Falls is a region of slow moving water that's surprisingly calm. This is no leisurely swim. One wrong step, you're going over. Everyone knows there's nothing better than having a meal with a view, but this restaurant took that quite literally and now offers high altitude meals for those with a strong. Guys, I know you think all this puzzle adds some fake, but today I finally found the game. Stomach. Located deep in the jungles of Portugal, oh, this spectacular shit. phenomenon looks like the entrance Damn, that's a big ass hole. to the center of the earth. It's almost impossible to look away, although I'm not sure I'd be swimming so close to the edge. Oh. Most normal people take an elevator when going down floors in high-rise buildings, but in this Dubai skyscraper, you can take the glass slide from the 53rd floor. With just a thin sheet of glass between you and a 720-foot drop to the ground below, it'll definitely have your heart pounding for hours after. The tripped bridge is one of the longest suspension bridges in the Swiss Alps. While it's apparently safe, I won't do none of this stuff. Uh-uh. I won't do none of it. Next time you're in China's Guangdong province, make sure you check out Buddha's Hand, a massive statue that looks out over the Gulong Canyon. There's no handrails just yet, only safety nets below if things get out of hand. The Flying Kiss Ride in China consists of two giant statues that bend and lean towards each other to share a kiss. Well, the only problem with this thrill ride is that there's no safety harnesses, no seatbelts, nothing apart from a flimsy waist-high fence to stop you from tumbling over the edge. Swings are for kids, right? Well, this swing over the Dolomite Mountains in Italy is enough to put anyone in the Wouldn't do none of this That's stuff. Really That's too scary. Located in the outer desert, That's way too Medicine scary. Lies the Darvaza Gas Crater. Otherwise known as the... Why do they like, like a hole that's just Dorm burning down? Like something. This look like something um, that would be at the... Um, what is that area code that was restricted? I, f I forgot the name of the area code. I think it's um, area code something. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. But 
that's it looked like this is like a restricted place and only like scientists or secret organizations go here and it looked like it's just probably lava something that's burnt or something that's been dropped down like a spaceship or something that just dropped down and and nobody know what it was and it took off probably and they just probably doing investigations to hack this 100 foot deep hollow has been continuously burning for over 50 years with temperatures reaching upwards of 1000 degrees celsius this is one of the most dangerous roads in the world carved into the side of a chinese mountain drivers have a 2600 foot drop on one side it's one lane for most of the trip making overtaking a bit of a challenge exercise bikes are getting really weird this flying bike attraction in Germany allows riders to cycle a full loop when they build up enough speed. Cycle too fast, and someone's getting dizzy. Built for the extreme adventurer, sometimes you get tired halfway up a mountain and just need a quick power nap. If you have the stamina for this kind of shed eye, there are ways to ensure a safe sleep suspended halfway to the clouds. Here's a way to truly test your nerves. The Tilt is Chicago's premier acrophobic attraction, allowing adrenaline junkies to literally lean out from the 94th floor of the John Hancock building, a terrifying 1,030 feet above the ground. What do you get when you cross a medieval catapult with face jumping? An experience that's not for the main market. Well, well, that's why. It's all fun and games as long as you remember to pull your shoe. I'm flying! I'm flying! This giant swing in China has got to be the biggest and most terrifying swing in the world. Riders with nerves of steel strap up. Flying! This giant swing in China. Like who finna, like who gonna get on a giant swing like this? And just swing out there like you gotta be like you gotta pay me for for, for me to do that. Cause I'm not finna just just hey let's go swing on this. How, why, let's have fun. Like you just, you just hurt yourself, fall off, the screen might break, you fall. Like who would just get on the screen like this? Like that'd be that'd be real stupid kind of. But it's not stupid. I see why people do it to have fun, to make memories like just to test their fears and all that. But me personally, I wouldn't do that at all. Like, that's just not me. Like, I wouldn't, mm -mm. China has got to be the biggest and most terrifying swing in the world. Riders with nerves of steel strap up and swing through rainbow arches to a 2,200 foot drop in the gorge below. Spanning 140 feet and connecting two peaks of the Donnerkogel Mountain in Austria, this precarious steel sky ladder has earned its nickname of the Stairway to Heaven. And it's not for the faint-hearted. A couple of cables is all that stands between you and a 2,296-foot drop into the gorge below. For the truly brave, the Skywalk in Bangkok will test the nerves of everyone who claims they're not afraid of heights. Step out 1,030 feet above the Thai capital and just pray the reinforced glass beneath your feet can hold your weight. This is a pool with a view. The edge of Bali not only has glass walls that look out over a sheer cliff face, but it's also got a glass-bottomed floor for that surreal flying sensation. You'll feel like you're swimming in the sky. Awesome. Fancy a drive across the ocean? Finland's Road 6 I love is one of the most dangerous <laughs> roads in the world, as a long section of it sits below sea level. Trap doors aren't just for evil geniuses. It turns out it's a great way to get two people to bungee jump at once. I don't know what's scarier. Wow. The ball itself or the countdown right before the floor opens up. This is the world's biggest human catapult. Imagine the rush of being What is a I wonder what is a catapult? That's what he said, a catapult. Section of it sits below you jump at once. I don't know what's scarier. Wow. The ball itself or the countdown right before the floor opens up. This is the world's biggest human catapult. Imagine the rush. Oh, so it's like a thing that shoots somebody. Nevis Valley, reaching an eye-watering 60 miles per hour in just one and a half seconds. It's over before you know it, but it's an experience you'll probably never forget. This is what it looks like when you're too scared to jump from a 154-foot high platform on your own. It's the Sky Park Sentosa on Singapore's Soloso Beach. And if you're too afraid to look down, the friendly staff are more than happy to throw you. No waves, <laughs> no problems. In the coastal sand dunes of Brazil's Jericho Agora, they've constructed temporary water slides perfect for bodyboarding. With enough speed, you'll skim the water below just like a real surfer. <laughs> this has to be the most chaotic beach in the world. Whoever decided to put a runway right next to Maho Beach didn't think about how unnerving it was going to be to everyone swimming below. There's regular tubing, and then there's the extreme. 
Built from the unused Olympic ski jumps in Salt Lake City, Utah, this adventure park has transformed the hill into a high-speed tubing adventure. With speeds topping 50 miles an hour, this is no leisurely ride. This swinging bridge in China is the ultimate test of balance and agility. While some people try to swing into the bridge's wild swings, others run from side to side to stay upright. Get your timing or balance wrong, however, and you're going swimming. Look, Mom, go ahead. Hey, that's hard. Just can't wait for summer. That's hard. This adventure park is transformed. Oh, that's hard though. Tubing adventure with speeds topping 50 miles an hour. This is no leisurely ride. This swinging bridge in China is the ultimate test. That's hard. I do that. While some people try to swing into the bridge's wild. Look at them. I keep this side to side to stay upright. Get your timing wrong, however, and you're going swimming. I keep just literally floating it like. It's nothing to him. Side to stay upright. Get your timing or balance wrong, however. Look at that. Look at him. He fell. But it's like, it's like he's leaning, like, as it's going backwards. Wait. If you love tobogganing and just upright, get it's like as it's going forward, he goes backwards. As it goes backwards, he goes forward to keep his balance. So, that's pretty understanding because he's standing in the same spot. It's just ma He's just making it look like because it's moving, he got to move up to stay in his same spot. And if it's moving back, he got to move if it's moving back, he gotta move up. And if it's moving up, he gotta move back to stay in the same spot. If you understand what I'm saying. Add this Ferris wheel slash giant swing ride to the growing list of attractions. I'm too scared to go. I've been on that. I think that's his. Nah, that's not a six flag. I do this though. Gain enough speed down the jump before diving into the water below. It's all about that aerial finesse. Time your somersault wrong, however, you're gonna wish you stayed in the kiddie pool. When I say Rainbow Road, most people have flashbacks to the worst map in Mario Kart. Thankfully, when it comes to the real version in El Salvador, there's no risk of falling off. It's the most colorful slide in the world. Technically, this is still a water slide, although very frozen. This snow slide in Russia is the perfect way down the icy mountain. When the warning sign on this ride said, you may get wet, they really weren't kidding around. <laughs> Now, half of these, I I say about ninety percent of these I wouldn't do, and the rest ten percent I would do. Like the bridge that was gliding, I am actually on it right now. Like the bridge that was gliding, like I do this because it's not that the bad. Test it's just like testing your balance. Some people try to swing into but the like on the other swings. hand, like Others run from side to side. doing. This These the type of things, like, I wouldn't do, but I do other New things, so. <laughs> but I hope y'all like this video. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and y'all stay tuned for more videos. But this going to be it for this video, and I'm out. Peace.